Hello everyone, my name is Nico, me, your favorite Splatoon 2 YouTuber. What's up my peaches? Today we have great, great, great bunches of news for Splatoon 2 from Gamescon 2017 regarding Splatoon 2. Lots of Nintendo Switch reveals and announcements were given out for ARMS, Fire Emblem Warriors, and many other titles, but today we're focusing on Splatoon 2. Now, the thing we have to start talking about from the very beginning is quite possibly the best Splatoon 2 map ever revealed. In my opinion, at least, this is the coolest and most obvious thing they haven't revealed or sent out yet into Splatoon 2 world, and that is a pirate ship. You know, you think water, they have the piranha pit, they have all of these really cool intricate like inner city games and maps that you can use, but today we finally got the pirate ship I think a lot of us have always expected and wanted out of Splatoon. We got a little bit of a tease of it a few weeks and months ago in other Splatoon 2 trailers, but we finally got it today, and that is the Santa Maria, which is so, so cool, you know, just looking at it, there's flags, there's a tons and tons of, like, wires and ropes, and the the flags go all the way to the very top, and it just looks so big and so cool, but it doesn't also look big as in size, like, it looks so complicated inside, like, if you look at the, in in the inner works of it, there's so many different, pla like, I was, like, so, like, where, where do I even go on this map, there's so many different platforms, and I imagine you can put ink up all the way to the top of the tower and swim up to the tower, and then the snipers can go there, and then there's all these, like, just, there, it's not just there's so many platforms in different places on this ship, it's just that, there, look at all the elevation in it, there's so many different levels of it, like, in every, like, little area of this ship, there's, like, five different um, levels of it, and it just, I think it's probably the most complicated map we've ever gotten in Splatoon, and it's just so cool, and I feel like we're really missing on some really cool maps on Splatoon 2 right now, if you look at Splatoon, by the time all the DLC came, it had, like, 20, 30 maps it felt like, and all of them were so unique and cool, and of course we're going to continue to get them in Splatoon 2, but I'm really missing some of the really cool maps we got, and we're finally getting some of them now, and I'm so excited, and I, I just look at this pirate ship, and I'm like, wow, the ideas will never stop with Splatoon, there's so many cool map ideas they can give, so yes, this was the first announcement, I'm really excited to go on this pirate ship, next, Okay, actually, it's called the Maria, Manta Maria, oh, Santa Maria, Manta Maria, uh, they continue to be very punny, and it's really cool when you're on the ship, you can see the water everywhere, and, you know, you just look up, and there's so many things to see, it's very, very, very cool, and it's coming out Saturday, August 26th, which is in four days, so we'll be able to play this thing on Ranked Battles, regular turf war battles, league battles, all of that stuff very, very soon. So that's very, very, very exciting. Next up, we have a weapon that I've been dying to use, and that is the Bubble Blower. And this thing is actually a special weapon. I think I thought originally that the Bubble Blower was just going to be our standard weapon, just like the Ink Roller or the Splat Brella or the, the Splatter Shot Pro. Weapons like that, I thought that's what the bubble lower was going to be originally, but it's actually a special weapon, just like your inkjet or uh, the missiles, the octa missiles, and all of those things. It's a special weapon, the ink storm, stuff like that. That's what it is, and it's coming out very soon. It's going to be with the, uh, there's a new Forge Splatter Shop Pro thing that is coming out with this, and uh, it's going to be very cool, but to explain it really quick, basically, when your special is loaded, you shoot three bubbles into the air, or actually you can shoot as many as you can in the time that you have it, and then what happens is you and other inklings around you will shoot the bubble in the air, and it explodes and has a massive explosion of ink that does tons of damage, gets ink everywhere, and it looks very, very cool. So basically the strategy here is you, you should have someone near you to help blow your bubbles and pop them with you. But if you're alone, you shoot as many bubbles as you can, and then you get uh, your gun out, and you shoot the bubbles as fast as you can. They explode, and then they they spread tons of ink. They uh, they splat tons of people. I feel like this is going to be really good in splat zones. Very good in... Uh, possibly it's going to be very good in tower control as well, but also very good in turf war. It looks like this thing spreads lots of ink, but I see this thing doing amazing in splat zones because you just shoot out tons of balloons, spreads tons of ink. It 
it would, it'll, it's going to splat everyone in that zone and spread tons of ink in that zone. So I see this thing very, being very, very, very powerful in splat zones. Uh, but yeah, make sure, I think, to have a partner with you when you have this thing because... It's going to be very, very, very uh, beneficial to you to pop as many bubbles as you can, and having a partner there to do it with you is going to help a lot. It's going to come out with the Forge Splatter Shop Pro, um, which it looks like a pretty cool weapon. It's going to come out Saturday, the 2nd of September, so that's a week from this coming Saturday, so 11 days from now. Uh, so it's coming pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be a special that I think is going to be highly used in some rated modes, like I said, Splat Zones. Also, really quick, back to the Manta Maria. I think this map is going to be really, really interesting for all of the rated battles. If you think about it, Tower Control is probably going to be the most simple with this thing. I see it just going all around the map. I mean, that's simple. But the Splat Zones, I have no idea where the Splat Zones are going to be on this thing. I'm imagining maybe two of them, one on one side, one on the other, or just in the middle. Um, in between two poles, I guess. You see how there's tons of poles on the Manta Maria? I'm assuming that there's going to be a splat zone in between two of the poles, I guess. I have no idea, because this thing is so complex. I can not I can barely even see an area that is flat enough to have a splat zone on it, so maybe it just won't be flat. I don't know. It seems very, very, very cool. Um, and on the same note, I think the Rainmaker is going to be very interesting on the Manta Maria because the thing is so long, you have to go all across that, and it's going to be very, in I think it's going to be a long match with the Rainmaker because I think it's going to be very easy to stump the Rainmaker because of how complicated and elevated all these different levels are on the uh, the Manta Maria. So anyways, that's the bubble blower. That is the Manta Maria. I think they are both two really, really unique and amazing new things added on to Splatoon 2. Now to the last part of this update. We have a third piece, which is the Salmon Run Stage Lost Outpost, which is coming out this Wednesday on local multiplayer. And then whenever the next online Salmon Run takes place, it will also come. I couldn't really get too much of view of it like the lighting is just so like orangey and like darkish but like it seems like a very cool um thing like it looks just like a typical outpost in the middle of the sea almost i really wanted like a shack in the middle of the sea and that's what it kind of looks like there is a house type thing you know how like when you go into the like when you go near like a harbor or something and there's a little shop at the end where it has like your bait and your like maybe some snacks and like you can get your fishing poles and all of that there that's what i wanted and that's what it looks like there's a little house that you can go into and i think that's a really cool yeah that's where the really 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 cool stuff i think will take place because it's gonna be a little house where all of you can hide in through enemies when it gets like nighttime it kind of like reminds me of zombies especially there but like in uh not even zombies in like uh, not zombies in Call of Duty, but zombies in Minecraft, where you go in your little hut <laughs> at night time to hide from the monsters. That's what kind of reminds me of, and that's where the egg canister is as well. Uh, again, it comes out Wednesday, the 23rd of August, and uh, I'm really excited to use it. But yeah, the map looks really fun. Uh, it's going to be really cool to hide into the shaft, and uh, yeah, it just seems very cool. I'm excited to play in it. Uh, the developer also promised that new research is happening for Splatoon 2 and we'll be getting more and more and more content as the year progresses. We are promised new content for the next whole year, so uh, tons and tons of new things will be coming. We've been getting a new content update every single Friday and we will continue. We're guaranteed new content every Friday up until September 2nd now with the bubble blower. So it's very, very, very exciting that we continue to get new things with Splatoon 2. It's the type of game where you come and play every single week no matter what. And the fact that we're going to be getting new things like the Manta Maria especially and this new special, this is the biggest content we've gotten so far. Uh, before this, I think the Splatbrella would be considered the biggest update, but no, this is definitely bigger. We have a new special, we have a new map, we have two new maps. Uh, it's going to be very, very nice to play uh, with all of this new stuff. I cannot wait to play on the Manta Maria. I cannot wait to play with the Bubble Blower. So many cool new things, and I can only imagine what Splatoon 2 and the creators have behind their backs hands what's that saying you know what's saying i'm trying to say anyways uh, in their sleeve that's what i meant to say anyways for more splatoon 2 news i can't wait for the manta maria i'm gonna have tons of gameplay in the manta maria when it comes out so make sure to stay tuned for that and i'll see you in the next video comment down below what you think will come next in the splatoon 2 updates i think maybe like uh 
maybe like a fishing pole or something would be really cool. I have no idea. Comment down below what you think, and I'll see you later. Comment also below, I keep asking you to comment all these things, what your favorite content update is from today. Okay, goodbye.